What's up tennis fans? I'm Richard Pagliaro and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Well, the celebrations go on from the French Quarter to France, hours before the uh, New Orleans Saints won their first Super Bowl. Last night, the United States Fed Cup team defeated host France in France 4-1 to one to advance to its sixth straight Fed Cup semifinal. Melanie Udan coming up big, winning both her singles matches. A key to this tie was really the first set of the first match. Bethany Maddox-Sands down 2-5 and eventually faced four set points, saved them all against Alizé Cornet. And that was a huge catalyst for the United States because Maddox-Sands came back, won her first career Fed Cup singles match, and sent Cornet, who's the number one player for France, into an 0-7 Fed Cup career where I could really caused a, a bit of a crisis confidence for her. She did not play again the rest of the weekend. Very, very big win for Dan, obviously, and now the United States will host Russia, the four-time Fed Cup champion, in the April 24th through 25th Fed Cup semis. That'll be in the United States. And Russia, as we told you on Friday, if you're with us, watch out for uh, world number 31, Alyssa Klabinova. She also came up big. Russia was down two to one in that one and Klabinova scored a straight sets win over Anna Ivanovic who continues to struggle big time even before her home crown in Belgrade and then it came down to the fifth and decisive doubles match it was Kuznetsova and Klabinova sweeping Ivanovic and Yankovic. Not all, not a completely lost weekend for Ivanovic off court Adidas announced they have extended her uh, endorsement contract through the rest of her pl playing career and then post playing career she'll be an Adidas uh, ambassador. So Anna doing well with the endorsements but still struggling on court. It's really got to be a tough time for her now not being able to deliver a single point in that uh, Fed Cup first round tie. How does the United States shape up against Russia? It's interesting there's a lot of time between now and April obviously and we have no idea who who are going to be the final starters for both teams at this point. Russia could field four top 20 players if the rankings stay as they are today. Also, Denara Safina continuing to have that back injury. She withdrew from Dubai next week, so she's going to be questionable. I think the key for the United States is trying to get, obviously, Venus or Serena to play in that April 24th to 25th semi. If you remember, Serena did commit to playing in the 2009 final in Italy pulled out a few days before that final. Serena's scheduled to play Charleston the week before the Fed Cup semi, so if Captain Mary Jo Fernandez can persuade one of the two sisters to play, the United States will have a real good shot with assuming, you know, Lizelle Huber, the world number one doubles player, comes back and you get a Dan back. Uh, pretty good shot for the Americans who have not beaten Russia since 1999 and the last time the United States beat Russia in Fed Cup it was Venus, Serena and Lindsay Davenport leading the team over to uh, over in Elena Dementieva led Russian team that was in Stanford. Also tonight on the West Coast if you're out in California Pete Stampras makes a mini comeback of sorts just a one match exhibition against Fernando Verdasco. That's in San Jose for more on the San Jose tournament uh, tennis now. Contributing writer Kent Oswald spoke to tournament director Bill Rapp, so look for that on the homepage. And that's all for now for Tennis Now. This is Richard Pagliaro, and we'll speak to you soon.